Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here and your continued love and support. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you um, to those of you that did attend the uh, Inner Child and Self Love Healing um, course last night, um, which was something that I um, brought about in the announcements um, for you guys probably about a week and a half ago. Um, which was offered through uh, my very dear friend, Deva Vidya, um, who actually lives in Sedona. She did an online course um, that was truly beautiful. And there were um, many of you that did attend that um, course, which was truly beautiful, um, a beautiful healing um, that we did with that. So I wanted to thank you guys so much um, for those of you that did attend Um it was a truly beautiful experience. Um, and Deva will be having another one, um, I believe she said a month from now, which is going to be a little bit different. Um, she does record those sessions, especially for those of you that are kind of worried, um, you know, of not being able to attend. Um, she did record it, um, so it is available. So maybe for the next one next month, um, which I do believe is a little, the title's a little bit different. Um, and I can't remember, so I'll have to get more information from her on that. But yes, thank you guys so much for those of you that did attend um, that little session. Both my husband and I um, came on to that, uh, which was a lot of fun um, for us. Um, another beautiful session um, with Deva. So truly grateful um, to all of you guys. So um, today's pick a card reading, um, we're actually doing one that was subscriber requested um, I found in the comments that somebody had left, um, and it is basically asking those of you that might have like a specific crush on someone and you don't really know if the person that you're interested in is really even interested in you. And normally I do these kind of like as a crush reading. So, but I'm just going to kind of adjust the title a little bit for this one and then just ask, do they have a crush on you? Okay, so do they have a crush on you? Are they interested in you? And we'll kind of see what energy does come through uh, for that reading. But we do have three crystals here. Um, you can go ahead and choose right now if you already know which crystal you want. However, I am going to be adding um, an oracle card for each of these before we get into the reading. So we're going to be using um, the little animal um, spirit oracle deck this is both the first and second edition um, that I put together for one mega giant <laughs> um, animal deck um, and this is also something that I purchased in Sedona um, in December so I will have um, the information down below in the description box for you guys okay so our question today do they have a crush on you Let's pull an oracle card for each of these piles so that may help you to choose. So do they have a crush on you? We're going to ask for pile one, which is this Druzy Agate um, Moon. So do they have a crush on you? Pile number one, does your love interest have a crush on you? Are they interested? Are they romantically interested in you? Do they have a crush on you? Okay, so wow, we have the Jaguar for pile number one. Okay, so pile number two is this titanium uh, little, I think it was titanium quartz, Jersey titanium, I don't remember. It's some type of titanium crystal with a little Jersey little jersey in it. Okay, so for the star, pile two, do they have a crush on you? Do they have a crush on you, pile two? Okay, wow, we have cats here. <laughs> we have the bobcat for pile number two. And then pile number three, you are this angel aura. Um, quartz here. So let's see for pile three. This one is sticking out here. Okay, so we have the quail 
for pile number three. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a little bit more of a close up on these cards and the crystal. So pile one, you are the jaguar with this little moon here for pile one. Pile number two, you are going to be the bobcat and this little star. And then pile number three, we have the quail and we have this angel aura quartz for pile number three. Okay, so do they have a crush on you? Does this person have a crush on you? However, you want to look at it. Okay, so pile one, the jaguar, pile two, the bobcat. Pile number three, the quail. Timestamps will be down below for you guys, and I will see what you're reading. Hi, pile one. So those of you that resonated with the jaguar and the little moon here, um, and I love, I was just kind of um, researching a little bit more about the jaguar in the uh, guidebook for this uh, deck. And coincidentally, <laughs> The jaguar um, animal symbolism is really talking about the mysticism um, and the psychic energy that comes along with the jaguar. So the, the message for this card is actually about messages coming from your spirit guides, ancestors, the animal kingdom, however it is that you intuit messages from the divine. Um, but this is basically telling you here that with this question today, do they have a crush on you? This is your spirit guide's way of saying we have already been sending you messages about this person in this situation. So it's a need for you to kind of be open to receiving those messages from the universe. Um, and then you have the moon here, right? And the moon also... Um, especially within the tarot, the moon is also, you know, intuition, but sometimes this can bring about um, confusion and things of that nature, but both of them talking about intuition here. So I almost feel like spirit's saying, and we'll kind of look when we get into your reading, you know, that spirit is saying they've already been sending you messages <laughs> about this person um, that you do have an interest in. Okay, so let's start off with your tarot first, and then we will get into the oracle messages okay so we're asking today does your love interest have interest in you do they have a crush on you too so let's see here and i am using uh the dun what is this the dungeons and dragons uh tarot to start off with so let's see pile number one does your love interest have a crush on you So then I feel like this kind of gives you some clarification, confirmation to know if you should be the person who kind of makes the first move, you know, maybe you um, go up and talk to them or express interest, ask them out on a date, um, you to kind of know how to move forward, you know, with this. Okay, so pile number one. Do they have a crush on you? Does the person on your mind, your love interest, do they have a crush on you? Are they interested in you romantically? Do they have a crush on you? Are they interested in pile number one romantically? Are they interested in pile number one? Okay, so we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what else here. We've also got uh, Earth Energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do also have the Four of Swords. 
Four of Swords. Okay. So what I'm already getting kind of like with this Four of Swords, some of you may not have uh, maybe even spoken to this person yet. Okay. And that may be for some of you, but the Four of Swords is a card of rest and reflection, like quiet time, <laughs> quiet time. Um, so it may be that this, you and this person are not even speaking to each other. I almost kind of get for some of you, this person, almost like the two of you look at each other, look at each other when the other one's not looking. It's kind of what I'm getting with this person. Do they have a crush on pile number one? Does your Is your love interest interested in you? Are they romantically interested? We have, wow, okay, look at that. We have the page of cups. Okay, which is good. So I feel like the answer is a yes. Okay, the page of cups is a very flirty, sweet uh, energy. Okay, so there is definitely some, uh, but this is, I feel like very early. Okay, the page of cups is something that's still um, small in comparison to something where you've really put in, in, you know, invested time and energy into someone. Okay, so since we are asking about a crush, of course, these this is going to be something that hasn't developed, you know, really developed yet. Um, but the Page of Cups is a very romantic, flirty, um, and then, I mean, that could be as simple as a person making like eye contact and you can just tell that they're kind of looking at you or giving you a certain look. They look at you differently than they look at other people, <laughs> Um you guys could be exchanging kind of like glances at each other. Like I said, kind of looking at this, it kind of makes me feel like some of you, this is a person you work with. I'm looking at this queen of pentacles energy here when we're seeing all these people that are kind of like sitting down at a table eating and this queen of pentacles, she's holding up this pie and she's looking directly, right? She's looking directly at you. So it makes me feel like Maybe when you're not looking, they're looking. And when, you know, just kind of like this exchange of glances and looks. Um, I'm also noticing how this pie is warm. <laughs> There's a warm pie here. Um, so I don't know. Maybe that is symbolic of this person. I don't know. Feeling some type of warmth or something with the energy with you. There, I don't know. It kind of makes me feel like our things heat up when they're around you or when they look at you they just kind of feel I don't know you know when you kind of like walk into a room and you see your crush there and you kind of get that feeling in your body that just kind of makes your heart warm and fuzzy and you just kind of I don't know I'm just like looking at it this at, at it this way so we've got a warm pie here okay um, which looks like it's freshly baked. So with the page of cups, yes, I, I feel like this person is someone who does have interest in you. Um, this four of swords, let's see what's happening here. We've got what we've got one guy here. It looks like he's reading a book. This other person who's just kind of sitting here. They're actually what they're in front of a fire here. And we've got this one guy who's just kind of sitting in the middle. But yeah, this is kind of like this, I don't know, maybe this person doesn't talk to you, watches you from afar. I'm noticing that in this Page of Cups energy here, um, this woman looks like she's looking out, out this door, looking down at something. So it makes me feel like this person, I don't know, maybe they're at a distance from you or you guys don't really talk to each other. You guys have... Maybe not come up to each other, you know, and, and have spoken to each other. Okay, so let's see what else. Pile number one. Do they have a crush on you? Do they have a crush on pile number one? Are they romantically interested in pile number one? Is there romantic interest? Do they have a crush on pile number one? We have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, some of you, yes, there's strong energy of work, workplace uh, coming in here. Okay, the eight of pentacles is about hard work, dedication, commitment. 
Um, so yeah, it makes me feel like this person maybe watches you while you work. You could watch them. You could know them through work. Um, let's see what else. We also have Pisces. Pisces energy here. Libra energy. Virgo. And do they have a crush on pile number one? Are they interested? And that page of cups is definitely crush energy. Okay. Definitely crush. And then we have the hermit. Yeah, so it makes me feel like you guys are not even talking to each other. Um, the hermit is an energy of solitude, um, being alone. This person could be someone who's really shy or they can kind of pick up that vibe from you. The hermit is a little bit more of a... Uh, introverted, shy, reserved, keeps to themselves. So it could be that this is kind of how this person is, or this may even be what this person is kind of observing about you. Okay. But yes, the page of cups energy here is telling me that this person does have those romantic, sweet, new, flirty kind of feelings that are there. And just, you know, just starting with the page because this is something that is new. So yes, I definitely feel like this person is crushing on you. There's interests here. Um, they may even feel, I don't know if they're kind of see, maybe seeing you as the hermit, you know, if maybe they see that you are someone who is a little shy, um, they don't really know maybe what to think, how to approach. I feel like, uh, the situation. So I do want to get some more tarot here but yeah spirit is saying pay attention to the messages that we're sending you here and also the jaguar is um an, a solitary animal a solitary animal in the kingdom um so it makes me kind of think about the hermit too you know alone a loner maybe this person is waiting for you to be alone right maybe if there's a bunch of people that you always have around you maybe this person is waiting until you're alone for them to say something or to flirt. But since this page of cups is very, like I said, very sweet, very innocent uh, type of feelings, um, it could be that this person is wanting to express interest, right? And towards you. And that can come from, you know, maybe with a crush, you just kind of like pass by the person and say, hi, make eye contact, you know, your eyes meet across the room kind of situation. Uh, that's happening. So let's get a little bit more. So I definitely feel like this is a yes. Okay. Do they have a crush on you? They may also see because those of you where this is, especially this is a work situation. I feel like this person sees you as someone who's a very hard worker. You're right. You could be very committed um, to goals. It could be that maybe there's something about your work ethic, which is really what I'm getting here is a work situation. Um, that this person sees that you are someone who stays very committed, you know, to your work. And maybe that is something that is inspiring or even impressive or something that they find attractive about you. Uh, do they have a crush on pile number one? Is your love interest interested in you? Do they have romantic feelings? Are they attracted to you? Let's see. This wants to come out. This is also <laughs> the page of cups again. Okay. The messenger of cups in this deck, but yes, that is the page of cups. Okay. So your, your answer is a yes. I'm going to see if there's any other information here. We also have, wow, the action of cups. Okay. So that is the knight of cups. We've got the page of cups here twice, the knight of cups, um, so yeah, this is romantic feelings. You know, it could be that this person with the Knight of Cups energy here, both of these, that this person is wanting to come forward to say something to you, right? Communicate, express romantic interest, romantic feelings. But I definitely feel like there is interest here. Okay. We do also have the Mastery of Coins, which is the King of Coins or King of Pentacles, um, and we do have the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? So Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Um, this could definitely be saying that this person feels or sees you 
you know, as someone that there may be potential, you know, potential for this to lead to a commitment, relationship. Maybe this is something they could be open to. Let's see here. Pile number one, do they have a crush on you? Does your love interest have interest in you, a crush on you? We also have the four of pentacles. So with the four of pentacles energy, it kind of makes me feel like this, this is the spirit saying here, this person may be afraid to approach you. Um, we have the nine of pentacles, again, a single independent energy. Um, this person may see you as someone who, you know, is really, I feel like definitely a hard worker because this to me, we've got the queen and king of pentacles here, the eight of pentacles, the nine of pentacles. This is like really hard working, dedicated, committed to almost like to your job, right? So, um, I don't know, maybe there is something about you, your energy. It's like this person sees you as someone who's giving off a really good vibe, right? Someone who's very nurturing, someone who's committed to goals, uh, is what I'm seeing here. But it makes me feel with this four of pentacles energy that this person may be like afraid of reaching out, talking to you. Kind of like because with the Hermit energy, it's uh, very, like I said, an energy of solitude, uh, alone. I don't know. Maybe if this person's been single for a while, they may even be questioning, like, are you single? You know, are you married? Are you single? Are you in a committed relationship? Kind of questioning that there as well. And if they, let's just say if they do know that you are married or that you're, that you have a boyfriend or you have a girlfriend, you know, maybe they're afraid of even saying anything here with the four of pentacles. Cause this is when we are afraid to take a risk, scared to take a risk. Maybe they're afraid that you'll shut them down or, you know, but there is feelings that are here, romantic interest, um, a crush. It makes me feel like with the queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, that there is something mutual between the two of you. And then we also have the six of pentacles at the bottom. And this is the six of pentacles is reciprocal energy. Okay. So it makes me feel like this person feels that when maybe, I don't know, maybe when they pass by you, they walk by you, they just feel that there's something that's there. And both of you are kind of given that vibe to each other. Okay. So that may be why spirit is saying here, listen to your intuition right? Listen to what your intuition is saying, because with the Jaguar, like I said, this is all about um, that mysticism and trusting intuition, the messages that spirit is giving to us. And then you have the moon here, right? Little moon here, little moon there, the moon there. So I don't know, maybe there's, you're feeling a little bit confused, maybe, right? About does this person like me? Um, the moon also can bring in, right? When we think about the moon card in the tarot, the moon brings in anxiety and fear, um, maybe even suppressing feelings, emotions, hidden, right? The moon is a hidden energy. Um, so it makes me feel like either you or the other person, maybe there's some fear or anxiety that could be surrounding um, the two of you from feeling confident enough to go up to one another. But yes, we've got the page of cups twice, the knight of cups energy here. I definitely feel like it's a yes for you. Okay. So let's see what other information we can get. We also have what we've got lots of earth energy here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do also have a uh, water sign energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we've got what? Lots of earth and water. A strong Virgo. And at least for the air sign, we have Libra. Okay, so let's see. What other information, pile number one, about this person having a crush, maybe some advice, guidance for pile number one? Do they have a crush on pile number one? Is pile one's love interest interested in them? Do they have a crush on pile one? We have hope, 
right? So maybe it's like this person is hoping that you feel the same or there's something mutual between the two of you. Maybe this person, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the star energy. Like is this person, you know, has some type of, um, or try, I feel like trying to stay optimistic about things. Okay. We also have patience here. Okay. Patience, maybe before it, what I, uh, you know, they take action or come forward. Um, but I feel like with this energy here, you know, because like I said, for, with the hermit energy, you could be someone who's shy. They could be someone who's shy. And if both of you were shy, how is anything going to happen? <laughs> right? So maybe there's a need for you to, you know, be a little bit more flirty um, with the page of cups. I don't know. Bat your eyes at them. Wink at them. Uh, yeah, it just makes me feel like, um, I don't know. Maybe this person, like I said, for some of you, maybe you always have people around you. Maybe this person is waiting for someone or waiting for you to be alone. You know? I feel like this person is doing a lot of reflecting and thinking about things, though. So does pile one's love interest have a crush on them? Are they interested? We have unstable here. I don't know what that's about, but let's, we'll find out. Let's see. We've also got content. Content. Makes me feel like you, there's something about you and your energy. I'm also noticing there's a, this woman has a ring on. So I don't know. Maybe it's this person. Some of you could be dealing with someone who is already involved with someone. Or you could be involved with someone. And this may be also questioning too. Like I was saying, I was kind of picking up. Is this person afraid of approaching you? Because if they see a ring on your finger, um, you know, or they maybe kind of know if you're committed or if they're committed. I don't know. They could be kind of questioning that there as well. So I want to see what this unstable energy is. Maybe they feel unstable in their approach, you know, kind of questioning with this four of pentacles. Maybe we should clarify that too. Let's do that first. Why is this four of pentacles energy here? Mm, seven of cups. Okay. Okay. So the Seven of Cups is about options, choices. It's also about uh, feeling confused. Okay. So there's definitely confusion. Maybe both of you are confused. <laughs> you know, does this person interested in me? Why are they looking at me? You know, why are they looking at me? Why do they, why do they say hi to me? Or I don't know. Some of you... I think some of you have left in the comments before where I've seen before where you have a love interest that you say hi to them and they don't do anything but just stare. They just stare at you, which makes it super awkward. Like, okay, I said hello to you. Are you going to respond or are you just going to sit there and stare at me? So yeah, it makes me feel like maybe some of you are feeling confused. You don't know, right? Should you make a move? Should you say something? Should you say hello back, especially if you're trying to say hi to someone and they just stare at you and they don't say anything. That's awkward. Okay, so why is uh, the Four of Pentacles here? Wow. Okay, so we've got the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Yeah, the Six of Cups energy is also very sweet. Very sweet energy. Uh... I don't know. Maybe some of you could even be friends with this person. We have the chariot here also. The chariot is about having the willpower to move forward with something, to make progress, right? To come forward here. Um, the six of cups can be this energy of feeling uh, this connection to you. And it can be very sweet, very innocent, right? Very innocent. Like I said, this is something new here with the pages, um, some of you may be a little bit more flirty with the Knight of Cups. It could be that this person is more outward with their uh, flirtiness towards you. Okay. But it makes me feel here that this person is feeling af almost afraid of um, 
coming forward with the chariot. Okay, because this does require will willpower, right? Your courage to be able to go straight up to someone and say, hello, hi, and try to get to know them a little bit more, right? To kind of see what's going on with them in their life. Are they already, you know, hooked up with someone? Are they available? Are they wanting to date? So, okay, so let's look at this unstable energy here. What does pile number one need to know about this unstable energy? We have the emperor. The emperor. Mm. This makes me feel, those of you especially where this is a work situation, is this person a boss? Is this person a manager? Um, and does that make, or you, you could be a manager um, or a boss, but the emperor is more maybe a level manager, executive. This could even be symbol symbolizing a person who's married, right? Maybe if they are someone who is in an unhappy relationship, because we have unstable here and the emperor is like the archetype of a father or a husband. Maybe they're both. Um, they could be someone who maybe feels that if they're afraid to approach because they could be someone who's already committed to someone else. Um, they could be seeing you. Maybe you have someone <laughs> that you're already committed to. Um, or they may feel like, let's just say it, it is kind of like a work relationship. Maybe that kind of is what they see as something that is unstable, right? And the emperor is stable, um, stable energy, grounded energy. And we're talking about instability here. So let's see what else. Maybe they feel it's like a little bit of a complicated situation here, you know? Why is unstable here? We also have Cancer energy. Cancer and Scorpio. So why is unstable here? What does pile number one need to know about this unstable energy? The Fool. The Fool is about taking the risk, taking a leap of faith. Right, which has its consequences because you don't know what's going to happen. So maybe this person, I'm also getting some Pisces and Aquarius. We also have Aries. Let's get one more. But yes, the fool is, is really about jumping into something, right? So maybe they feel, are they being foolish if they just kind of be outward with it? You know, maybe they have some reservations about coming forward. Or maybe even being the first one, right? To make the first move. What is this unstable energy? I'm going to take this one. We have the three of swords. Three of swords. Why the three of swords? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this person has gone through a recent breakup. Or, I don't know, if this person is already committed to someone else, are they worried about the risk that could be involved of maybe even hurting other people? We have the Seven of Wands and Eight of Wands. The Seven of Wands is about boundaries, right? So does this person feel like they're crossing the line by messaging you, communicating with you? I'm also noticing how, like, in this Eight of Wands energy, how there's these three people that are kind of look like they're talking together, thinking, looking, planning, you know, before they do something. So it makes me feel like, is this person wondering, you know, if that if they reach out to you or message you or let you know something, is it going to be foolish, a foolish decision, a foolish choice? Um, and maybe not wanting to cross any boundaries here with the seven of wands, you know, that's kind of, and I feel like it's, it totally depends on what the situation is right with, um, your person. Like if you obviously know that you're in a connection already, they're in a connection already, or even if it's like a work type of situation where you're kind of afraid to cross that line with a coworker. You know, especially for those of you where this is truly a work situation, like, you know, you don't, you, you have to, 
be careful, right? You have to be careful, especially when it's work. You know, do you, is it a line that you want to cross by letting a coworker know that you have romantic interest in them or flirting with them, or even if, you know, the two of you could be in other relationships. So I don't know, but yeah, I feel like the answer is yes, which is basically what we're asking here. Okay. Let's see if any last messages we have truth and it says, I heart you. Okay. This is, look at that. It looks like a little comment, a little bubble message here. So yeah, maybe this person does have a romantic interest here. The Knight of Cups, like I said, for some of you is going to be a little bit more, um, I feel like maybe more outward, like this person actually wanting to come forward with some type of offer, message, communication. The pages bring messages. Okay. But there's definitely a little, um, sweet, flirty, romantic interest here. So yeah, this message I feel like is what this person is wanting to say to you. The truth is that there is romantic interest, um, that is there. We also have self-love. So that may be something, you know, especially if this person is going through, I feel like maybe some type of heartache, you know, some of you, this person could have, like I said, could have just had a break, a breakup. They could have gone through a divorce, a separation, um, Maybe there's a little bit of a defensive energy because this person may still be feeling a little unstable, you know. Um, and the hermit is also, you know, can sometimes be somebody who's choosing to stay alone or has chosen to stay alone. Maybe they could be going through something and healing, which more or less kind of says, you know, is this person working on self-love right now? You know, or is there, you know, does this person know that you are going through something? Okay. Let's see here. Okay, we have unlock here. Unlock. So maybe this person, I don't know, they're, maybe they're, they're allowing themselves to kind of open up to this connection. We have pieces here. So this pieces kind of gives me like this idea of a fragmentation of the heart, right? So if there is kind of broken heart energy that we're seeing with that three of swords, is this person still healing from something, you know, trying to really work? Maybe they are working on self-love in that hermit energy. Okay. Which is kind of what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number one. Again, the Jaguar. This is spirit saying here, trust your intuition. The messages that spirit is trying to give to you about this person, about the situation. Spirit could be communicating with you through the dreams, right? Meditation, if you meditate, um, certain signs, synchronicities that are trying to help you with this. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here um, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, Pile 2. So those of you that resonated with the Bobcat and this little star here, this is going to be a reading. So before we actually pull your tarot, I want to kind of just read a little bit of the message of this Bobcat because I feel like this might also help you with this situation with this person. We're doing a reading today with you having a specific love interest in mind, somebody that you might have a crush on that you're interested in, and you don't really know if this person feels the same way. So the message with the Bobcat is about being patient, and it says do not act too quickly without careful contemplation and reflection first. So it's asking you to be patient and observant with this person. Um, it says that uh, there are secrets to be revealed that require you to pay attention. It is best to remain quietly in the background as you observe the people and situations around you. Use your gift of intuition and psychic vision to see the unseen. So it may even be telling you here, I don't know, we'll kind of see what comes out the tarot, but I feel like that maybe this is helping you to kind of have a better sense of understanding of what is truly happening maybe between you, this other person, or even if there's something that you don't know about this person, uh, you know, especially if they, you don't really know much about them as a person and an individual, you don't know much about their personal life or something like that. But this is spirit saying here, you will know exactly what to do when you pause and reflect first. So this is asking you to be observant about this person. Be patient. Don't act too quickly, which I'm sure, you know, when you have a crush on somebody, I mean, some people are pretty bold, like they'll let you know right then and there, hey, I think you're attractive, 
you want to go out. But some people, it's kind of like you have a crush on someone and you do nothing, right? And all that ever is is a crush because you're too afraid to go up to them and say something. So we'll kind of see what comes through with your little bobcat here. We're going to start off with the tarot. And then we will move into some oracle messages to get some more information. So let's see pile number two. Our spirit is asking you to pause. And maybe this is something this person is doing too. You know, maybe they are just kind of pausing and observing you. Uh, but let's see here. Or then maybe there's more that you're meant to really find out or learn about this person before you jump right in, right? So let's see here. Pile number two. Let's do one more. What is with these cards? Okay, pile two. And I am using the, to start off with, I'm using the uh, Dungeons and Dragons tarot. So pile number two, does your crush have a crush on you? <laughs> Is your love interest interested in you? Pile number two. Does pile number two's love interest crush also have a crush on pile number two? Do they have romantic interest in pile number two? We have, wow, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to see what else is coming out here. But the Ten of Pentacles is, I don't know, maybe some of you, this could be a friends, friend circle, could even be work. Could be someone around your circle. Okay, within your daily life. Maybe you see this person frequently. Or this person is really involved in some way in your life. Family, friends, job, work, near home. But I'm also getting, because the Ten of Pentacles is about a commitment. And that's a serious commitment. So is this person married? Is this person in a long-term relationship? Or are you? <laughs> are you? Um, maybe that's why Spirit is saying, Pause and reflect first. You know, we'll see. What's we'll, we'll see what's coming out. Okay, so we do have Virgo energy with that Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what else is coming through. Pile two. Does your crush have a crush on you? Are they interested in you romantically? Is pile number two's crush interested in pile number two? Does pile number two's crush have romantic interest in them? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Yeah, it makes me feel like this person is somebody who already is in a relationship. Maybe that's why Spirit is saying here. Kind of like in a way, tread carefully, you know? With this situation. We'll see what else is coming up. But we do have the Knight of Cups here. Okay? The Knight of Cups is uh, romantic feelings. Okay, so I do feel like there is romantic interest with or from this person, but it makes me feel like we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Both of these in the tarot are family cards. So this person could even be somebody who's married or committed to someone else. Or this could be spirits saying that you are as the viewer, <laughs> you are as the viewer and the Knight of Pentacles is about a very slow moving energy. So it's either that this person is someone who's choosing to be very cautious about things. They're very methodical. Especially if they're someone who's married or already committed, then is this like sneaky, right? Sneaky. 
Let's see. Maybe this is why Spirit is saying here, take your time. Take your time here with the bobcat. Observe this person. Watch this person before you do anything. We have the Queen of Cups. So what I'm kind of getting is this, that this person, there's a lot of cups here. We've got cups, pentacles. Um, but what I feel like with the Queen of Cups energy here is that this person does see you as someone who is very nurturing, sweet, kind. It could be something that they just sense within your energy. Uh, but there's definitely a romantic interest that's here. It just makes me feel like, is this person someone who's already committed to someone? Do they have a family? Are they married? Okay, so I'm going to do some more. We're going to use a different tarot deck. And this one is, what is this? Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. Tarot of the Cosmic Seed. This one you can get on Amazon. Or not Amazon, Etsy, sorry. Etsy. This one on Amazon. And I will have them listed down below for you guys. So pile two. Does your crush have interest in you? Does pile number two is crush? Nine of swords. This is fears, anxiety. Anxiety. Worrying. Does pile number two's crush have interest? I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Is your crush interested in you? Does your crush like you? I don't know. Maybe does your crush have interest in you? Right? So you can kind of see, is it one-sided? Do I, do, is it just me that has a crush on them? Or do they also have interest too? So yeah, I think I'll go with that. Does your crush, is your crush interested in you? So let's see. Pile two. Is your crush interested in you? Do they have a crush on you? Are they romantically interested? We have the messenger of wands, which is the page of wands. So the page of wands energy is a very like passionate, excited type of energy. It's very flirty. Okay. Um, maybe this, the pages also bring communication. Okay. So maybe this person is afraid of reaching out or communicating here. Afraid of messaging, but I feel like this person is someone who does not only have romantic interest in you, this person also finds you attractive, okay? Very attractive. I feel like this person is someone who has like these daydreams of you. These daydreams. If you're not dealing with somebody who is married or who is already in a relationship, then I feel like this person could even potentially be someone who could see that there is potential for, like, future between the two of you, okay? Especially if you know for sure they're not involved with anybody else and you're not involved with anybody else. Um, let's see what else... This makes me, I don't know, I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles and he looks creepy. Like, is this person just like staring at you? <laughs> just staring. He looks like he's at a little desk here. Too. Just with his one eye. Staring. This, I don't know. Maybe this person just kind of like looks at you and <laughs> I don't know. I think I was telling that to Pal One. Is there a person who just kind of like looks at you and doesn't say anything? Let's see. Pile number two, does your love interest have a crush on you? The action of coins. That is the Knight of Pentacles again. Knight of Pentacles twice. Twice. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini. We do also have some fire sign energy here as well. We have the Two of Wands. Aries. It's like this person with the Two of Wands energy here. I almost feel like is is trying to make a decision here. The Two of Wands is about being kind of like at a crossroads and having to choose, right? Choose a direction. I feel like this person feels anxious about it. Anxious about talking to you or, or messaging you, communicating. The Knight of Pentacles energy here is very slow moving, right? Slow in their approach. Maybe this is asking you to maybe take things slow with this person. Don't rush into it, which is what this Bobcat is saying. Don't rush into something too quickly. Why, though? Why? It's, well, maybe it's because, like, if you are dealing with somebody who's already committed or if you're committed, right? Maybe you could create uh, unwanted issues, problems, right? We have the Nurture of Coins, which is the Queen of Pentacles. Four of Cups at the bottom. Why? What is going on with this person? Four of Cups. Is this person... Because the Four of Cups energy could potentially be about rejection. Rejection. Is this person afraid of rejection? Afraid of you rejecting them? Or are you afraid of rejection? If you go up to this person. I kind of want to. I'm going to put this Four of Cups over here. Look at that. And then we've got the Action of Cups right underneath that. Which is the, um, the Knight of Cups again. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles here twice, the Knight of Cups here twice. But like, is this person choosing to not take action here? Like I said, for some of you, I'm kind of getting that this person may already be someone who's involved. Those of you where this is not the case, it's like they're, maybe this person's anxiety is kind of holding them back where they are kind of missing out on this opportunity or choosing not to take the opportunity that's there. Like I said, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow, very methodical type of energy. It's like we're planning every single step and want to make sure that as we progress with something moving forward, that we're going to, you know, um, feel confident in that choice or that decision, you know, and not make a mistake, basically. We're very careful with how we do things. So I want to see... First off, why the anxiety is here. Uh, so let's look at that. Why is the Nine of Swords here? We've also got Cancer energy. Why is the Nine of Swords here? We've got the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is talking about um, challenges, uh, conflict. This could even be is it a situation that may create conflict. Is this person also worried about other people? Because the five of wands can also be about groups of people. I'm looking at this five of wands. Almost like this guy looks like a magician or a wizard right here. He, the way that he looks like he has like his power or control or something here. Makes me feel like, is this person anxious or worried about other people? What other people are going to say? Could even be internal conflict that this person is feeling here. Or could it be a very, you know, situation that can create conflict here? Like, especially if this person is someone who's already committed or if you're committed and they know that. Um... Let's see, why is the Nine of Swords here? What do we have? 
The Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. Mm, makes me feel like some of you, especially with this Queen of Wands energy, you could be really, really attractive to this person. There's a lot of desire here. Even if, with this Nine of Cups energy, look at how he's kind of like sitting here taking a bite out of his little drumstick, but there's all this fire that's behind him. And the Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups is about uh, fulfillment, satisfaction, feeling satisfied, right? So I don't know, maybe does this person feel, feel like this situation between the two of you is like playing with fire? Playing with fire. Even the Queen of Wands, she's holding this fire here. I don't know, maybe especially for some of you that are Hmm. It makes it like a challenging type of situation. You know, like if, let's just say they're in a relationship or they're married or you're already in a relationship or you're married. Or even if like there's other people who could have opinions about them coming forward and the two of you having anything with each other. It just makes me feel like this is like is this playing with fire here? And maybe that's what the conflict is, why this person is feeling anxious because it could create conflict between people or maybe conflict for the two of you. You know, like it will bring happiness in some respect with the Nine of Cups, personal satisfaction and fulfillment because the Queen of Wands gives off some serious... Like, I'm hot vibes, I'm hot, I'm attractive. So you could be someone who's very attractive, but they may kind of see this, like, and, and even kind of looking at him, how he's kind of like set back, sitting back. Like, is this playing with fire? You know? Like, is it is it temptation here? Because he's got his drink, he's got his drumstick makes me feel like because this is talking about personal satisfaction fulfillment desire that is it something that I don't know like you quench this person's desire they have so much desire for you but is it just kind of like a a challenging situation because maybe it is playing with fire maybe that's why spirit is saying here don't take action Take time to really observe this person. Observe this person. Watch them. You know? Uh, because the Queen of Wands energy also gets, like, a lot of attention. Right? So they can also be this Queen of Wands, too, who... I don't know, maybe for some of you, this is spirit saying is this person, and this may not be for all of you, but for some of you, maybe you need to watch this person because like, is this person a player? You know, this is spirit telling you basically to watch this person's pattern of behavior before you do anything. To me, that's kind of like a little bit of a warning, right? Spirit wanting you to just pause, pay attention to this person Take it all in, their body language, you know, things about them. Because this is saying more is going to be revealed. So this tells me that there's maybe something that you haven't really seen about this person. Maybe their personality or something here that's being revealed that you need to know of that's important, I feel like. Right? Okay, so let's see why this Four of Cups energy is here. We have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands. He's a creepy Page of Wands. Um, but we have, look at that, all of these mess, repeat cards here. Page of Wands, Page of Wands. Hmm. I don't know. This Knight of Pentacles, the way that he's just got his little eye that's staring, the kind of, I don't know, he kind of has like this devious look on his face. Let's see what else is here. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? 
the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups here is about an, uh, walking away, detachment, emotional abandonment. Almost makes me feel like, is this person, someone, spirit, sane here who... I don't know. It just makes me feel like there's something here that's kind of off. Basically kind of like a warning here with the bobcat. And the Eight of Cups is a card of emotional abandonment, detachment. Letting go, walking away. Maybe this is Spirit saying here, you need to pay attention and pause and reflect on this person's pattern of behavior. Find out more about them. And I would say this would be kind of like your gut feeling. That even though you have a crush on this person, it kind of makes me feel like there's kind of more to discover about this person. Maybe this is you needing, in a way, to walk away from this person. Or spirits trying to shift your attention away from This makes me want to clarify this Knight of Cups because although the Knight of Cups can be a very romantic energy, sometimes he can be a little sly. You know, he can be a little sly. So that makes me want to look at that. Why is the Knight of Cups energy here? Three of Cups. Three of Cups. This potentially could be Spirit saying here that there is a third party. Okay. The Three of Cups is also about friends, um, fun, happiness, joy, getting together, dating. So is this person maybe someone who's dating someone else? Are they dating multiple people? This is where Spirit is saying here, pay attention, right? Pay attention. We've got the Four of Cups again. And in this Four of Cups energy, we have this little gnome who's hiding in this little tree house here by himself. Mm. And like I said, the Four of Cups, look at all of this again. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. Knight of Pentacles here twice. The Page of Wands is here twice. It just makes me feel like Spirit's saying here that, I don't know, it, it just kind of, there's something off about this person. Something's off, something's up with this. I don't know, maybe this, like I said, maybe this is Spirit saying quite literally you're playing with fire. Is this person someone who is dating other people? Are they involved with another person? Is this person just flirty and doesn't have any intention of something more? You know, would this be someone who would potentially end up rejecting you? You know, romantic at first, swoop right in with that Knight of Cups, very like saying all the right things. Because the Nine of Cups is, again, like I said, it's personal. I don't know. It kind of gives me, like, I'm going to be honest, okay, but this may not be for all of you. But this kind of gives me, for some of you, like, uh, and I don't want to put labels on people, but um, someone who's very maybe ego-centered or uh, narcissistic type of traits with a person. So is this person who's kind of like a smooth talker? Maybe that's why Spirit is saying, observe this person, right? Because more is going to be revealed with this person. So pay attention, observe, like I said, their patterns of behavior. Maybe ask questions, learn more about this person, ask other people. But it makes me feel like this person, maybe, I don't know, do they have like a pattern of behavior of emotional abandonment, rejection, pushing people away? Only wanting something temporary or fleeting, right? Fleeting type of energy. 
There's someone who may make you feel very frustrated with the Knight of Pentacles energy here, which is very slow. Are they someone who's married, committed, uh, just for fun, and then ending up rejecting you with that Four of Cups? You know, I want to ask Spirit here why, with your Bobcat here, why? Why do you need to observe this person? Let's use this other deck. Why does pile number two need to pause and reflect and wait with this crush? The four of pentacles. The three of wands. I mean, this is an energy of... Uh, I don't know. For some of you, this could be uh, foresight. Thinking ahead. Looking ahead. Wanting you to look ahead at what may be the energy that you could experience with this person, right? Why does pile number two need to pause with this person? Why do they need to observe pile number twos? Why do they need to observe their crush first before making moves? The eight of pentacles. Some of you, this is work. Okay, so maybe this is work. Then we have the Mastery of Swords, King of Swords. Which makes me feel like here with the King of Swords, is this someone maybe potentially, and I'm seeing the Five of Swords at the bottom, which is about conflict, challenges, the feeling of defeat. And the King of Swords energy is... Um, Maybe dealing with someone who is detached or who maybe has a tendency to detach or emotionally abandon, withdraw, right? So I, it almost makes me feel like although there could be attraction between the two of you and maybe mutual interest romantically, like is this person who has a pattern of behavior of rejecting or aband some type of emotional abandonment, third party involvement here? Is the person married, already committed? Are they only in it for fun, personal satisfaction and fulfillment? That to me, like when I look at these two cards, it makes me feel the way that he's just kind of like set back here. It just makes me feel like, you know, like what are you going to do for me? What can I get from you? Kind of look with that fire behind, you know? It just makes me feel like Spirit's saying here, you're playing with fire with this person. So that's why with this here, this is Spirit saying here with the Bobcat, observe this person. Pay close attention to this person's pattern of behavior. What you know about them, you know, ask, I don't know. It just, it just makes me feel like you have to just be maybe careful with this person, this, this one. Okay, so let's see. Because the King of Swords is also, you know, can be very guarded, very detached, very cold and detached type of energy. So is this person just trying to like swoop in and say the right things if you're trying to bring things further? You know? Would this person be someone who would just end up hurting you, I feel like? Okay, so pile two. What else do we need to know about this person, your crush, about their interest in you? Forgotten. Forgotten with that glass slipper, which to me is like that eight of cups. Hmm. We have synchronicity, forgotten. It's like Spirit's already giving you messages here. We have intervention, which is divine intervention taking place here. This is like Spirit getting involved in this situation, maybe to show you, to pay attention. You see, I'm telling you, there's something about this and it feels like a warning, honestly. 
like I said, that page of wands, he just looks a little, a little devious to me. You know, for some of you, I mean, this could even be someone who, you know, um, kind of rejected you already. We have date night here. Date night. Forgotten though. Like, is this, it could be someone who ends up ghosting you, you know? We have uncertainty here. Forgotten. It makes me feel like, is this person someone who just kind of like has a pattern of behavior, an unhealthy pattern of behavior when connecting with romantic partners? You know, it just makes me feel like Spirit's saying, just take your time with this person. Um... Because that forgotten to me with the Eight of Cups, like I said, this is abandonment. That's rejection. The Nine of Cups is when we're personally happy, personally satisfied. So it's like, what, you know, do do we want? I'm care. I care about me in that energy with the Nine of Cups, right? So if this person who doesn't have any care or concern really for you, your feelings, your emotions. And only their personal satisfaction and then just kind of cut you off, you know, that's when the divine are getting involved, like to show you something about this person. Pay attention, right? Synchronicity, intervention, the bobcat is saying pay attention, pause, watch this person, observe them. Okay. Let's see anything else. Pile number two. Yeah, it just makes me feel like is there something about this person's pattern of behavior that spirit is wanting you to see? We have psychic connection here. And this tells me a lot about you really trusting your gut instincts, your feelings, your intuition here. We have discovery. And again, this bobcat was saying too, there's something to be revealed. There's a secret to be revealed with this person. Maybe something you'll be finding out and discovering about them. Look at that. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Pile two. There's something fishy here. Slow. Again, spirit saying, be cautious. Okay. Third party. Discovery. Third party. Your gut feeling. Divine intervention. Spirit getting involved. Okay which could end up maybe in a tower moment for you. Who knows? An epiphany, a realization you have about this person. Okay. So yeah, Bobcat, that's to me, that is your guidance right there. Watch this person, observe them. Something may come out into the open, right? Is this person in a third party or, you know, kind of putting you into a third party situation Maybe asking you out on a date, but I don't know. This is Spirit saying, take things slow with this person. Don't rush right into it. Even if, let's just say you haven't really figured out, you know, that this person could potentially be in a third party, but this person asks you out and you say yes and you go. Don't just like hurry up and try to rush into things. Because if this person by chance, because all of this energy here, like I said, it's kind of I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like a sneaky snake energy. <laughs> if this person is a sneaky snake, then if they're not telling you something, this is, again, I feel like Spirit's telling you here, take things slow. Okay? Take things slow with this person. Um, trust your intuition. Okay? With that. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number two. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pal 3. So those of you that resonated with the quail and the angel aura um, quartz, this is going to be a reading. So um, the little message with the quail card here is about finding balance between your personal and professional life, okay? Which the personal life does include your love life. So if you are someone um who feels like those two parts or aspects of your life are kind of like out of balance. Like if you're really someone who's looking for love, but yet you are someone who works crazy hours, long hours, and you don't have time or make time to date, 
this is where spirit is saying to kind of try to balance out those priorities. It could also be that the person that you're dealing with is someone who may have their personal and professional life that is out of balance and they're needing to kind of prioritize love. Okay. Um, so we'll kind of see how that is playing into your reading. Um, so we'll put this here and we're going to start off with the tarot first. And just kind of see what comes through here. Okay. And I am starting off today with the Dungeons and Dragons Tarot. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is you, you know, like let's just say that you have need to make more time, right? To balance out both love and professional or you can be someone who is just like love, love, love all day long and you're not putting energy towards your goals and your focus is just love life, love life, love life. When am I going to find someone, partner and needing to also uh, remember to balance out your professional life too. Like, are you, you know, working towards your dreams? Are you working towards your goals? Right. Instead of focusing, you know, to try to create that balance between your personal relationships and connections and also you for what your dreams are and goals are for your professional life, right? To make sure you have balance there. So let's see. Kyle number three. So we're asking today, does the does your love interest have a crush on you are they interested in you because most of the time it's like us where we have a crush on someone we don't really know how the crush feels like do they feel it too do they like us do they are they interested so that's what we're finding out today so pile number three does your love interest have a crush on you are they romantically interested in you is there any interest at all do they have a crush on you too so is the person that pile number three is interested in, interested in, is this person also interested in pile number three? We have the five of swords. Five of swords. That is a very challenging energy to start with. We have the king of swords. of swords does this person that pile number three interested in do they also are they also interested in pile number three the empress Chariot. And then we have why the five of pentacles. What is going on? It makes me feel I mean, we've got the empress here in the center. So I do feel like this person is attracted to you. Okay, is attracted notices you right the the empress is very noticeable and <laughs> very noticeable energy um it's it's a whole vibe that you give off in this empress energy so you can be someone who's incredibly attractive to this person there's a lot of sensuality that comes along with the empress but we've got two challenging energies here the five of pentacles the five of swords The Five of Pentacles is about scarcity, lack, um, abandonment, feeling shut out, or someone shutting you out. And then we have the Five of Swords here, which is an energy of conflict. And if you look at this here, it looks like these two people are fighting over this vase and pulling it in opposite directions. It's causing this vase to crack. 
right? The Five of Swords is about conflict. And the King of Swords is not the most romantic energy. The King of Swords is, can be come across as very cold or detached, you know? Hmm. Okay, so we're going to pull some more tarot here. We do have Taurus, um, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer. We've got Taurus. So we'll see what else is happening here. Pile number three. Do they have a crush on you? Are they interested in you? Is your love interest interested in you? Do they also have a crush on you? Is pile number three's love interest interested in them? Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot. Okay, we have the Chariot energy here twice. I kind of, I don't know, in some way it kind of makes me feel... Is there like this person maybe even feeling a little bit of intimidation here? You know, because even if you look at this King of Swords, we have, and I'm not sure who this is. I don't really know the Dungeons and Dragons characters. But we have this guy up here who looks like he's almighty and powerful. He's sitting up here, you know, much larger than this person is here. But yet this person is kind of standing before him. And it's like it shows kind of like this hierarchy in the energies here. And... It just makes me feel like, is this someone who's, I don't know, if you give off a certain level of intimidation with this Empress energy, like this person being someone who kind of hides, you know? Because like I said, the Empress is very, like, this is noticeable energy. You know, she gives a strong energy of, of love and nurturing and sensuality. The Empress is is a feminine energy, right? So regardless of your gender, it's just kind of like you giving off this warmth, right? This warmth vibe. And so how can you not notice the Empress when the Empress walks in the room? You know, so it's either that this person is really intimidated by you, Maybe they don't feel like they're good enough because we also have the Nine of Pentacles here. And the Nine of Pentacles is a very stable, grounded, um, secure energy, right? So is it your security and your type of vibe and energy that you give off where this person is kind of feeling, I don't know, that maybe they're not good enough for you? Because even in this chariot, look at how she's just kind of like standing there like she's she's it, right? She's She's got some boss energy there. And I don't know, maybe this person is someone who kind of, with that king of swords, is very guarded or very um, someone who doesn't show you interest. Like they could be someone who's just like very stone-faced or cold or like you can't even tell. Like, is this person even interested in me or not? Like, like you can't read them, I feel like. Let's see what else is here. You know, almost like, is this person, would they just like never say it, never express it? Like, you know, like I said, how can you ignore the Empress? Hmm. Do they, are they interested in pile number three? Is pile number three's love interest interested in them? Again, five of pentacles. 
I don't know. It's just like, is this person just kind of like shutting you out? Shutting you out. Five of Cups. What is going on here? Five of Pentacles here twice. This is very challenging energy, I will say, okay? The Fives in the Tarot are about challenge, conflict, uh, changes. The Five of Cups is about disappointment or um, regret, guilt. Um, it's very heart-heavy energy. The Five of Pentacles energy here is when you are choosing to shut someone out, abandon, ghost, block. It makes me feel like, is this person someone who's been really hurt in the past? And because of that, even though they see you as someone that they're attracted to you, they're automatically just choosing to shut it down. You know, is kind of what this feels because that five of swords is can can definitely be self sabotage, or a feeling of defeat, feeling defeated. Um. And yeah, it makes me feel like with the Empress energy here, this person is attracted to you. Person is attracted. We have the Two of Pentacles energy, which is saying this person could have like some mixed feelings here. We have the Star. Again, this person is attracted to you. Attracted. But it just kind of makes me feel like, is this person someone who has got their own kind of stuff going on here? I don't know. It just makes me feel like, is this a level of intimidation this person has? Do they feel like they're not good enough for you? Or do they feel like, Oh yeah, she's, you know, she or he is attractive, but I'm not going to go for it. I'm not going to pursue it. I'm not going to, you know, the nine of pentacles is also single energy being single. So if this person, someone who's still healing from something from their past, where they kind of go back and forth here about whether or not they should even tell you they think you're attractive. And I feel like they really do think you're attractive. We get the star, the empress here. I kind of want to clarify some of this. Five of pentacles. It's here twice. This is a feeling of, of loss or void or emptiness. I mean, is this person someone who's afraid of you rejecting them? Um... You know, that vibe that the Empress gives off. So we've got Taurus, Libra, Cancer uh, energy here. We also have Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer. Let's, let's see here. Why is the Five of Swords energy here? Six of Pentacles. Which is an energy of um, reciprocity. Something that is mutual here. I don't know. This also kind of makes me think, are both of you attracted to each other, but neither one of you do anything about it. Neither one of you say anything. Neither one of you, you know, is this, is there even with the five of swords energy here, is there conflict with, uh, maybe even other people, right? Other people. Maybe this person feels like they're not, I don't know, maybe not someone who's willing to put in Effort, energy into the connection. We have the action of wands, which is the knight of wands. Which is about pursuing something, going after something that you desire. 
So I definitely feel like at least for the most part, what I'm seeing here is attraction, right? So if you are attracted to your crush, I feel like there is mutual attraction that's here, but it also makes me feel like this person has like some walls up. This person has some walls up. Why is the King of Swords here? The Action of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. Which is about a decision, a choice, taking action. I mean, we have the Chariot Energy here twice, which is about having the willpower to move forward with something to make progress, you know, determined to do something. Why is the uh, chariot here? Let's see. The nurture of wands, which is the queen of wands. Again, this person is really attracted to you. Okay. Very attracted to you. But I'm not really seeing, mm, I would say, romantic feelings, okay? Because more or less the energy that's coming through here is attraction, desire. Which means to me, because like I said, the Empress is about the energy of the feminine, which is a very beautiful, very sensual energy. This person can see you as someone who is incredibly attractive to them. But that Empress energy is also like a high value person, right? And then you've got the Queen of Wands energy, which is boss and <laughs> boss energy. It's a very powerful energy, okay? Both the Empress and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like this person is attracted, right? And they feel that there is mutual attraction here, but it's also just very, I feel like, Mm, guarded energy this person has. Guarded energy here. I feel like there's potentially some level of intimidation this person has because both of these energies here are, like I said, high value type of person, especially with what we're seeing earlier with the star um, at the bottom. Right? I'm even at the bottom of this deck. I'm seeing the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is about recognition. It's about being in the spotlight. You may be someone who gets a lot of attention from other people. People staring at you, looking at you, flirting with you. And I don't know. It just makes me feel like, is this a person who is intimidated by your attractiveness, your beauty, you know, being handsome. Because this five of pentacles is despair. It's loss. It's scarcity, lack. Maybe, they, like I said, maybe this person just feels like they're not good enough. Maybe they feel like they're not attractive enough or they don't have enough confidence, you know? Not enough confidence. So just kind of choosing to dismiss it, right? Like I'm attracted to you, yes, but I am not feeling the most stable. Because this quail is talking about instability. Instability with your, <clears throat> your love life and your professional life, right? So if you're putting way too much energy on work, 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 and then... You're wondering, okay, I want love, but why isn't it happening for me, you know? But when it's here, it's like you don't even give it a chance. Which kind of feels like that that's what this person is doing. That although they ha they're attracted to you, like, where's, where's the confidence to at least try to put forth the effort? If this person, you're coming in with this strong energy here of the Queen of Wands and the Empress, it makes me feel like, is this person has maybe rejection issues, abandonment issues? Is this person afraid of getting rejected by you? Because the Nine of Pentacles also gives off, I look at her as kind of the Nine of Pentacles as like pre-Empress energy. This is some powerful energy coming through, right? Nine of Pentacles is very independent, secure, stable. Like I said, this chariot woman here, she looks like she's standing here with confidence, you know, 
which is different from this other energy that's here that's very challenged. So it makes me feel like, is there a level of intimidation that either one of you might have towards the other? Like, are you someone who maybe you feel like this person is the person who is very attractive and you're afraid of going up to them because you're going to be rejected? Or is it the other way around where this person is someone who has kind of like this high level and you're afraid to approach this person to say something to them? You know, are you sab are you the one that's sabotaging here? You know, maybe that's a need for you too, if you're feeling that way, to learn to be more also more confident in yourself, right? And what you bring to the table, what you have to offer. You know? Because that five of swords is self sabotage. Self sabotage. Um, let's see what this two of pentacles energy is here. Eight of Pentacles. Again, we're getting a lot of work energy here today, right? I mean, it is where we spend a mo the majority of our time, right? At work. At work. Um, let's see here. We also have the world. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is going to be very, very... Um, how do I say this? Very... Um, I don't know. A message that is not meant for everyone, but this is a very clear message that's coming in for someone. There is one of you, maybe more of you are doing dealing with this, but there is one of you here that Spirit is saying that there could be a feeling of loss or disappointment that this person is currently feeling because you may be someone right now who is traveling, quit this job already. Meaning you no longer work here for some of you that, that you work with this person. You no longer work at this place anymore or they no longer work at this place. You guys could work in different departments. You're away from each other. And so now, although this person felt like you were attractive, there's attraction here. It's almost making me feel like Someone didn't go for it. And now, I don't know. It just It's like Spirit is saying here, there's like this awkward energy between the two of you now. Some of you haven't even spoken to this person. You haven't talked to this person. And some of you with the Eight of Pentacles and the world, you're either traveling You've already left this job. You've already quit this job. And now you're feeling like mm, the loss. You're feeling the loss or this person is feeling the loss. They're feeling disappointment. They could even feeling um, some type of regret for not saying something or not doing something. They missed their chance. They missed their opportunity is what I'm getting here too. But it's like this person is not like admitting. This person is not coming forward to say something. Like they could have had a chance that they missed. Is kind of what I'm getting here. Especially for those of you where you like you worked with this person. Now you no longer work with them. This person is. Mm. Yeah, that's just kind of what I'm getting here. And it's like. This person may have mixed feelings about, I feel like saying something to you because the world is about an ending here. Some of you, it could even be that this is someone, I'm getting this too. Some of you, you work with this person, but this person lives in a completely different country. Like you guys are, I would you call long distance coworkers. Like you guys could work for the same company or um, companies that work with each other that need each other for business stuff and you see this person online you you're I don't know you could be like in webinars with this person or uh, zoom meetings and stuff like that like you guys are you see each other online and uh, I don't know it just gives me this vibe like this this person is hard to read hard to read and there is mutual attraction that's here but uh, I feel like neither one of you are saying anything or doing anything about it. 
And for some of you with this Five of Cups, maybe this person feels that there are regrets. I don't know. The Five of Cups is some pretty heavy energy. Regrets, maybe guilt. Um, I don't know. Just like not saying something, not doing something, not taking action. Like wanting to come forward and um, say something. Some of you, it can even maybe be school. Some of you, it's school. With this Eight of Pentacles. Maybe even some of you, I don't know, because the Eight of Pentacles can be about work or working hard on something. This could be work, school. This can be even some type of hobby. It makes me think of like uh, gaming, like something like you guys have like a mutual interest. You may have met like on a different platform, like those different platforms that you can like kind of like social media platforms where you guys do like, I don't know, games and um what, I don't even know what they're called. My daughter plays on those things. Um, one of them starts with the D. Dis, Discord? Discord? Is that right? Discord. I, I don't know. They have like those singing apps now, like Smule. And it just makes me feel like maybe there's some type of hobby or something. <clears throat> Hobbies here. Work, school. This world can act, literally be uh, the person's at a distance from you traveling, travel for work. Uh, they live in a different country. You live in a different country. There's abandonment here. I don't know. Some of you could have blocked this person. They could have blocked you for no reason. Who knows? That's just kind of, I'm getting some challenged energy here. Maybe someone feels shut out. You shut them out. They shut you out. Uh, there's guilt here, regrets, um, heavy heart is kind of what I'm getting. There maybe there's distance here. This person is kind of feeling iffy about. It almost makes me feel like some of you that this person is someone that you've already had a crush on for a while. You've had a crush on this person for a while. Yeah, online world, the world online here, social media. I don't know. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's go into the oracle. Oracle messages here. Okay. So yeah, that was super specific for someone. Um, let's see here. Does pile number three's crush have a crush on them? Or is your crush romantically interested in you or interested in you at all? Pile number three. Are they interested in you? Pile three's crush interested. Unexpected. Unexpected. Romance. Oh, okay. Unexpected romance. Maybe it was something that mm, they wouldn't think that they would meet someone, right? That way. The connection between the two of you just being something neither one of you saw coming here. So I feel like our question, your answer is a yes. Okay. Your answer is a yes, but there are some issues here. There are some issues. Uh, announcement. This person wanting to message you. Maybe that can be what's unexpected too. Maybe there will be unexpected communication coming from this person. Because the King of Swords, Knight of Swords, they are all about clear thinking, decisions, action, and a vision and planning. Right? Hmm. This just definitely feels like one that is a puzzle. <laughs> a puzzle. Pile number two has felt like a puzzle too. Um, disappointed. Someone's disappointed. And we're seeing that with that five of cups. I don't know. This makes me think of like if you guys went to like a party or an event. 
like, I don't know, a, a birthday or um, a work party. She's dressed all pretty here. Mm. Yeah, okay. So we have generosity here. Generosity. I don't know, maybe you were someone who's very kind to them, very nurturing with that Empress energy. Maybe this person is someone who's disappointed you. Like, you know what I'm saying? It kind of feels like with this one here, there's a little more history here with this crush. There's a little bit more here. It's not something that's like, I don't know, maybe for some of you it is, but I'm just getting this energy here where there's a little more than just crush. There's some history between you and this person is what I'm getting for some of you. Okay, so let's do these last messages here. Pile number three. What is else does pile number three need to know about this crush that they have, about this person's interest in them? What does pile three need to know about this person's interest in them? We have slow here. So maybe this person is someone who moves slow. We have a music connection. Okay. So maybe, I don't know, like I said, I was getting for some of you, you see this person online with some type of hobby or something you might have. Maybe you guys are connecting on a music app thingy. I don't know. Or you guys like the same music, have a music in common. We have protection here. No, it makes me feel like, is this person protective of their own energy? Are they protective over you? Do they guard themselves? Especially with that King of Swords energy that we were seeing. We have closed. The book is closed. Makes me feel like a chapter is closed. Is this person closing out a cycle in their life? Are you closed off to this person? Is this person closed off to you? Is this person saying a lot about maybe this person's energy with that king of swords is like i said can be very detached you know or you guys may be in no communication we have unlock here closed and unlock hmm yeah it's making me feel like there's something this closed energy here it's either this person who's closed off or hmm are you guys not in communication? We have unlocking here. I don't know. It makes me feel like are some of you guys blocked each other or are you unblocking each other? I don't know what this is. But either way, we've got this quail here that is spirit saying it could either be this other person who needs time to balance out their personal life, love life, professional life. If you are also kind of like in that same boat where you either are on either end, you're either putting maybe too much focus on love life and you're neglecting your goals in life, or you're putting a lot of time and energy into a lot of your goals and work, super, super work focused, working crazy long hours, and you're neglecting your love life. And there's a, with this quail energy here, this is speaking about creating balance between the two. Harmony, you can have both, is basically what the quail's message is. You can have both in your life. Okay, you can have harmony in both. It's just learning how to kind of prioritize things is what. And maybe that's what this person needs to do, right? Maybe they need to get their life in order, get it balanced in order to kind of make time. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number three, I hope this is helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading.